गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट काउंट गुड नंबर्स प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर 1922. ट्वेंटी टू अपरी रिक्विजिट इज़ टू लर्न बाइनरी एक्सपोनेंशिएशन दैट मीन्स फाइंडिंग ए टू द पावर ऑफ बी इन लॉग ऑफ बी टाइम सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो ऑन दिस द लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो प्लीज डू वॉच दिस लेट्स नाउ रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम अ डिजिट स्ट्रिंग इज गुड इफ द डिजिट्स विच इज़ जीरो इंडेक्सड एट इवन इंडिसज आर इवन and the digits at odd indices are primes now the prime digits can only be 2 3 5 or 7 for example if you consider 2 5 8 2 2 then the position of this two is zero. the position of this is is for this for so these are the only two even positions and these two numbers are all even so it is fine and at position 1 and 3 these are odd positions and at odd positions you have the prime numbers 2 and 5 which is already mentioned right 2 and 5 so that is why this number 2582 is good right and if you consider 34 uh, 3245 then in this case at the even positions at 0 and 2 actually this 3 is not an even number so this is not good now given an integer n return the total number of good digit strings of length n since the answer may be large we need to return modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 a digit string is a string consisting of digits 0 through 9 that may contain leading zeros now in this case we are required to count the number of uh, good numbers so if you have n value equals to 1 that means you have only one position which is 0 then i can put all the even numbers from 0 to 8 so there will be five options and that is why the answer is 5 if you have four digits 1 2 3 4 then the first position is even then odd then even then odd at the even positions you will have uh, five options at the odd position you can have any of the prime digits so it will have four options right So the total number of options will be five times four times five times four, and that is how you get to four hundred, right? And and you can simply calculate for fifty as well. If the number is exceedingly large, definitely you always take mod with ten to the power nine plus seven, so that your number is always within the integer bounds. Now, if you are thinking about solving this problem by taking n number of entries. and then iterating for each of the entry and alternating between odd even odd even odd even then what we will end up doing is we will end up multiplying even by 5 and odd position by 4 again multiply uh, even by 5 and take the odd position by 4 right so we will continuously keep multiplying 5 4 5 4 5 4, 4 and so on so if you iterate and do it since you can have 10 to the power 15 items therefore the time complexity will be 10 to the power of 15 in terms of run time in linear uh, complexity and this is way way beyond your 10 to the power of it right so this will def definitely not run within one second so we have to reduce the complexity in such a way that the overall run time operations is reduced below 10 to the power of 8 right now binary exponentiation will help you do that and bring the time complexity to log n but if you look at the observation if you have n equals to 5 then the number of odd positions will always be n by 2 and the even positions will be total number of positions minus the odd count right so if you have n equals to 5 then you have even odd even odd even because the position always starts with 0 so you will definitely start with even number and you will keep alternating so now you know the even count and odd count now if you want to generate all the combinations you get from the odd positions that means if i have a 2 here then i can have 2 or anything like any even number can be placed at 0 or 2 at or or at 4 so the total choices of even digits are from 0 to 8 that means five options and for the odd we have four options which are the primes so i can keep multiplying all the choices 5 4 5 4 5 4 and so on so if i just calculate for this even position then that will come out to be 5 to the power of n minus n by 2 because n by 2 were odd count so all the combinations for odd position will be 4 to the power of n by 2 right so if you want to calculate the total combinations you have to take a cross product between them and that will be 4 to the power of n by 2 multiplied by 5 to the power n minus n by 2 right so that's it that is the solution right so you can take n equals to 5 calculate the odd po position count by doing n by 2 even position count by doing n minus n by 2 and the odd combinations will be multiplication of even and odd and take always mod of 10 to the power 9 plus 7 now you can always calculate 
a to the power of n in log of n time using the binary exponentiation so let me just quickly uh, give you a dry run so in binary exponentiation you square the base and half the exponent so here i want to find a to the power of b so b is the exponent and a is the base so square the base and half the exponent right so in this case uh, since the power is actually an odd number so it will be converted to like 2 to the power 7 will be written as 2 to the power 3 times of 2 to the power 3 times of 2 to the power 1 and this 2 to the power 1 will be saved in the result by multiplying with result so the result will become 2 and then the rest of them will be halved so if you calculate this will be 4 and this will be 3 square the base and half the exponent but when the power is odd then uh, one power of a will be saved into the result as explained in the binary exponentiation video right now again uh, you see the power is odd so one power of a will be saved in the result so a will be square the base b will be half the exponent and the result will be 4 times 2 it will be 8 again if you see the power is odd number so one power of a will be saved into the result so a will be uh, square of 16 b will be equals to 0 and the result will be equals to 128 right so the answer will be 128 we will stop when the b value is 0 right so that is how we do binary exponentiation so i think it is clear the time complexity is log n and the space complexity o1 let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the value n so first we will be calculating all the odd position count and all the even position count take the cross product between them and take modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 now this is the binary exponentiation code using the mod so i i think this you already know from the past video but still i will give you a walkthrough you want to calculate a to the power of b i will be starting with result value 1 until the exponent becomes 0 if the exponent is odd then save 1 power of a into the result as i explained if you have 2 to the power of 7 then you will write it as 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power of 1 so this will be going to the result and we will be writing this to 4 to the power of 3 right so that is what we will be doing and at the end i will be sending the result so this is the entire code i think this is simple to understand if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you